Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up your trainer mode on your Jumper T16. Now I'm using the Jumper T16 as my master radio and my Turnergy radio as the slave unit. So I'm going to go through what you need to do to set this up. Now on the um, slave radio, which is this one, all you need to do is actually set up a basic model. So no fancy mixes, nothing. Just set the make up a model. Like I've, I have a video of you how to do that, showing you how to do that. And then you just need to do that. Then the next thing you need to do is look at the channel mapping. So you go to the channel mapping and you write that down because it could be different to your master radio. So I will show you this. We'll go step over to the radio so that I can just show you how to do that on this particular radio, but it will depend on which radio you're using. Let's take a look at the slave radio, which is going to be my Turnergy TGY9X. You can see I've set up a basic model. I'm going to menu and then we go across. Everything is absolutely standard. You see the sticks R E T A. That is our channel order. So we need to write that down. R E T A. Now you look on your radio and you find the window where you find this. Now that's all we need to do in here is just set that a basic model up and then work out what the channel mapping is. Now on the master radio, the Jumper T16, there's a little more work we have to do. So I'm going to switch over to the radio as well and show you the settings on the actual radio. I've set it up on my Cheetah aeroplane. So the only thing we need to do in the model setup, so we hit the model button and then page across until you get to special functions. Now forget all these ones, we're going to go to the bottom. There you can see on this switch here, SB, I've set up the trainer stick. So you have to pick that option and then make sure that this is checked so that it operates. Then uh, I added a sound to mine to play a track, which is already included in the um, OpenTX SD card contents. So you can set that up. So you'll listen, we can show you. Training mode. Okay. Now that's all you need to do in the model itself. Then we need to go to the system menu and we then page across until we get to the trainer. Now this is where I mentioned earlier, we have to make sure that our channel mapping is the same. Now, luckily it is the same as the Turnergy radio, which is R, R, E, T, A. So there you go, but you could change the channels here to match up with your radio. On the master radio, we have three options that we can choose from for the, the way the trainer mode is set up. Now, one of them is off, one of them is plus equals, and one of them is colon equals. Now, the off setting, you can pick a channel which they will not be able to have control over. So you could say, pick the throttle. So you would still control the throttle on your radio, and they would have control of the rudder and elevator, let's say. The second option, which is the plus equal sign, means both of you have control over the surface. You can both put inputs in. But what I did find was that when I set up the throttle in the particular way I'm going to show you, you could you the slave unit or where the, the trainer radio would only be able to do half throttle. And then to, to allow the student to have full throttle, the master radio had to push the throttle forward. It was just a, a slight difference. The final option is colon equals, and this allows the trainer radio to have full control of that channel. Now we can take a look at the options. If I click here and we go off, that means that the uh, slave radio or the trainee would not have access to the rudder. We go to plus equals. This will allow you to equally have control, both the master radio and the slave radio. And then the final option, which is the one I would probably use, is the colon equals. And this allows the slave radio to have full control of that channel. 
Now we go down to the multiply. Now in the multiply, I think I should connect the radios together to show you how this is working. So let me just stop the video and I'll come back once I've connected the two radios. Okay, let's connect the two radios. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but the, the Tony G is not on. I'm going to plug in the plug and you may see that OpenTX is launching. And the T16 acknowledges it's connected to it. So I'm going to have to put it up this way because the cable comes out the back on this one. Now you can see all the channels working there. So if I go aileron, you can see the aileron going up. Now they're close to one, as 100 as they can be. The throttle, there we go. Elevator and the rudder. Now, uh, okay, jumper, there we go. So what we can do is calibrate the settings. Now we go down to cal, hold the button down and now it's re reset. So we just want to check 200. Let's pause there, Bill from the future. In post, I realized I made a mistake. When you do the calibration procedure, you need to make sure that the throttle is centered on your slave radio. In my case, the Turnage one. Okay, back to Bill from the past. Zero, that's a throttle. Aileron, almost 100. Elevator, 100 and 100. And then that would be rudder. Okay, so that's close enough. But what we can do is we can change the multiplier here so that if these readings aren't going up to uh, from you know from zero to 200 um we could we could adjust the multiplier to increase this figure i think we should let's give it a go let's see what happens if i do this okay you can see the throttle values going up and then we take the throttle value down back to zero so you could make an adjustment there but it looks to me that that would be um, fairly fairly good settings anyway for the radio so that's it it's not difficult at all to do I'm going to test this out soon hopefully with a friend who's really uh, keen on aviation and I hope I can help them learn to fly I just used a standard stereo jack uh, plugged into both the radios and it worked fine the procedure I used with these two radios was that the Jumper T16 was on and the cable was plugged into it then I Without turning the power on, the Turnergy, I just plugged the cable in and everything went worked properly. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.